right, we're out here on this beautiful 314 Mach 1 combo, getting ready to run it, do our full video presentation. Hopefully we'll beat out this weather. Had a lot of customers in, so it took me a lot longer than I anticipated to get out here today. The trailer looks beautiful. You'll see it when I get back, get back on it. So let's start in the back, okay? We got cleats back here. Our water fill. Look at the sun pad. Great shape. A little bit of suntan lotion stain. Just a little bit. Headrest here in great shape. Looking at the cockpit. Our back bench seat is beautiful. Got storage underneath it. Let's jump in. So let's stay to one side so we don't get dizzy. We'll do cockpit first. Got a pop-out cup holder right there above the speaker. Storage in the gunnel. Got the drop-out captain seats right there. So there's a handle underneath that that you flip. That drops down so you can stand up. Got our shifters. And what here, there's a little bit of crack. That's just like in the paint, the coating. Okay, looking all of our buttons look good. I got the wheel dirty because my hands are greasy. Looking at the helm. So let's just give it a little gas, see our attack works. Speedo will know when we accelerate. Hour meter, trim gauge. Oh, it's going down, that helps. It helps, it <laughs> works fine. Volts, fuel, temp, oil. So everything's working. Let's go over here. Put the vinyl, drop out bolster. Our mom box. That's where your plug's gonna stay plugs in it but we put one of ours in okay let's look at this back seat here's where our battery switches are so we can turn that on okay then to start it it's fuel injected okay so we just make sure our throttle's dead make sure it's a neutral three things that won't start click 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 dead battery turn the key open on nothing happens whatsoever either battery switches off or it's slightly in gear there's a neutral safety switch in there okay um turn the key and it just cranks and cranks and cranks and won't fire could be out of gas or have some kind of switch down so otherwise just like that okay take a look at the hatch the beeps are all clear that means the boat's getting ready to start got people swimming or something so we got power hatch I need to shift it so the wind doesn't push me back in there. Please. Pretty big hatch for a single ram, but that's how it's designed. We got nice and smooth water out here today, so we'll really be able to see what our top speed is. Okay. So we got two brand new batteries in it. That's the brand we carry. 454 Mac MPI, 385 horse. tilt and trim right here on the shifter trailer trim right here that's take it all the way out of the water this is as high as you want to trim it while boating your trim tab buttons are right there okay captain's call exhaust right here hopefully you can hear the difference in the sound okay but who doesn't like that on one thing very important to remember okay only select your captain's call feature at idle this speed idle speed um, you're determining how your boat's pumping out exhaust as well as the water. It's easy to keep the engine cool. What turns the flappers in the pipes, the Y pipes, is uh, thinner than a pencil, and they're aluminum or lead. I'm sorry. Um, so if you're going wide open, maybe not the first time, but I promise you, one of these times you will break them. Okay. So as long as you just select that at idle, you're good. Docking lights are here. Cockpit lights are on the inside. They're kind of scattered out everywhere. Uh, cabin lights are in the cabin. I don't know. On, off. There we go horns way up front if you can hear it accessory god knows sometimes you don't know till night what those do but there is power to them blowers work bilge pump navigation lights driving at night red and green okay then the white light the white lights under the cover down there so now let's uh 
pointed out here, put it in neutral. Look at the cabin. So the cabin's kind of wet because they washed it really good. Um, stereo sphere, I wonder if one of these accessories are for it. Yeah, let's see which one it is now. Shut them all back off. Let's just stand on it. Okay. Now the remotes won't work because it's got a newer head unit in it, CD player. So we got a refrigerator here. We got our little panel that turns on our stuff down here. We got our sink. We got our cushions that make our bed. Sorry, up here. So you know this could be scrubbed out a little better. Unfortunately, it's just felt, so it's very hard to clean. But for sleeping, this goes down up there. That's the bottom side. There's our nightlight. Okay, our covers, which are in decent shape. I uh, saw one little seam on the back, and then one little spot in the front. No big deal. I shut this because it's kind of cool out today. So it's coming up into the bow. Fiberglass liner. Uh, must have had a cup holder blow out up here, but I keep them in stock, so I'm going to throw one in. Anchor locker. Again, vinyl's in great shape. Windows, cockpit. It's just a sexy, sexy boat. I'm going to jump up here to try to give you a good look at how sweet it is. I mean, that's just awesome. The vinyl could be stapled a little tighter on that back bench seat on the bottom side. It's all new, but it's just one little minor thing. These cushions are just kind of thrown in. But and this is a cool boat. Now let's go runner. We've got bow safety rails, so we've got a lot of family that come up here. <coughs> they got a good strong place to hold on. What I like about this cabin is I'm not a big guy, but I'm not little either. And I don't struggle to get in and out of it. Some of these, like combo boats I don't want to name names but pretty much every combo boat other than maybe a Mariah um, it's very difficult getting in and out of this mid cabin but this is nice and roomy I forgot to show you this didn't I screens if you're staying the night sink head no other nice thing is a lot of your combos don't have a dedicated head in them okay the sides clean we got this carpet that all comes out okay so let's go ahead and run her been letting it run for a while at idle as you can see it's not getting hot if you're gonna listen to the radio turn this the other way because otherwise the hour meter runs oh yeah so you put it in gear always make sure you're idle down before you shift it or you'll shell the drive okay now this is a big boat with a bravo one so you're spending 385 horsepower to a single prop so if you hammer down and i learned this the hard way when i was younger you can blow out which means you're basically losing power at the propeller. So I kind of ease into it to get it up on plane. Once I'm on plane, then I hammer down or slow down and cruise, whatever. Lay back here so you can see the gauges. This thing actually doesn't have a lot of bow rise. I mean, I'm only 5'9 and I've got perfect vision over the bow. That's oddly great for a boat this size. Going to accelerate now a little more. It's very comfortable cruise speed, and I'm trimmed all the way down. Let's check and see if our trim tabs work. I'm not touching the wheel. Yep, boat's turning. <laughs> Lift that back up. Let's do the other one. See it turning again? That works. Make sure you put your plug in before you put your boat in the water. I kind of bypass that. Be sure to take it out when you take the boat out of the water. Um, 
people struggle putting it on and off the trailer. In the water is easy, you just back it up so you see the rear end float. Taking it out of the water, some people struggle to get the trailer too deep in the water. He's a little deeper than I'd like. Um, I'd like to see a little more of those front guide bunks out of the water, but uh, the trailer was designed, not designed, custom made specifically for your boat. So it's gonna line up perfectly. So a little more bunk out of the water and it'll just drive right on up there. Um, if the trailer's too deep, obviously the boat's floating too high. If it comes on right, it's by God's grace. Um, I, was, I also like to shut my exhaust off when I put it on the trailer. Why? Could be a wives tale, but I don't like um, running the risk of sliding back on the trailer than running water back through your exhaust into the engine, you know, causing like a vapor lock. So I got to talking too much. Right there. Okay. Now he's got to adjust the winch stand. That's the adjustable part. So. We're going to pull it out of the water and do that, and then I'll do my exterior videos. Trailer is sweet. So, talk to you soon. Also, don't forget to take your battery switches down to off when you're done boating. Right down here. And I didn't show you the underneath the seat. Oh, there's no storage. Huh. That was embarrassing. I should remake this. Oh well. There you go. You got access there. How pretty is this? Really trying to get this winch stand set up just right. I tell you what, I'm glad you trusted me on this trailer, and I hope you like it. Because we <laughs> about killed myself just now, sorry. But we are all very proud of how beautiful this is. Got all the colors right. That <laughs> looks sweet. So Billy's gonna finish his adjusting and pull it up here so that I can do better exterior walk around video, but I got bored waiting. So I thought I'd give you a good peek. All right, we got her pulled out of the water here after the drive, let's do our walk around. So we got our trim tabs, our captain's car, our props goods, got a skeg guard on. So kind of try to do an over overall shot and then get close for the fine details. So the rubber rail's nice all the way around. Let's go above the rubber rail port side. Gel coat's all nice here, nice and shiny. Got her polished up pretty. Got a little chip right here. I'll try to use some touch up when we get back on that. I gotta clean the few spots on the hull with the acetone where the new carpet kind of puts some just black spots on the bunks. So we're trying to get it set up right set up right now but i'll clean that up so below the rub rail looks like there's a repair here at one point but that actually looks worse in my camera than it does with my eyes it was like a scratch repair so then looking at the hole it's all nice there's black spots i was talking about and i guess i really didn't think while i was driving it that it's a stepped hole and that's probably why I got such great top speed. Isn't that awesome? All right. We spent a lot of money on this trailer. You did, but here's why. It's a heavy duty stout trailer, that's for sure. Add this back up. The docking light lenses are kind of ugly, but you can get those uh, cheap on eBay with the stainless and that match the trailer look great so let's go above the rub rail i got sidetracked gel coat's nice and shiny rub rail's nice it's kind of a dreary day which never makes good pictures or videos but nothing i can do about that a few little spots just on the graphics which is no big deal there's a it's not in the gel coat you can have like graphic companies they can take a picture of it and recreate the sticker Well, I really don't think I forgot anything. I made quite a few little videos. I'm going to put them all together and make one big one. So that, my friend, is a good looking rig.